Hey everyone, and today I'm going to be showing you how to play Don't Stop Believing by Journey on the piano. Um, I guess I'll play it for you first and then we'll move on with the lesson. So I'm going to break this down hand by hand. First we'll start with the chords on the um... Okay, so I'm going to break this down hand by hand. And we'll start with the chords on the right hand. So first you're going to place your finger on B. And then E. And you're going to alternate between the two like this. And again, that's basically how the whole rhythm is going to go. It's going to be alternating between the two notes. So then your next set of notes from B to E, you'll keep your thumb on B and then move up to F sharp like this. Alright, so so far we have... And then, like in the beginning, you're going to go back to B and E. And then after you do that, you're going to shift on over to A and play C sharp along with it. So this is the chording so far that we have. Okay, so that's basically the progression you'll be playing the first time around. The second time around is pretty similar, but it's slightly different. So you have this. But then instead on that repeat, instead of going back to this, you're going to play an E flat instead of E. go back to that A and C sharp like this. And that's basically the chording for the song. So here it is both times around. That's the right hand. Moving on to the left. So the left hand notes are pretty easy too. It's just tying the two together and getting the timing down is the most difficult part of the song, but we'll worry about that later. This is what the left hand will be doing the entire time. Alright, so you're going to play E, F sharp. A flat, B, C sharp, E flat, C sharp again, E flat, E, and A. Remember when you're holding that E, hold it for at least two beats when you get that together. So just practice this. And what's actually really cool, that's the bass line in the guitar riff in I think one of the verses or something. So make sure to practice that before you go on to both hands. Okay, so now here's both hands together. Okay, I am going, going to admit, even though this is a beginner tutorial, this really isn't much of a beginner song. I mean, like, if you're not all that great at timing, I recommend practicing along with the original song. But there's keys to getting the timing down. 
So I'm going to play it slowly first. And first, see if you can pick out the keys to it before I explain them. So... Okay, so now that you've practiced through both hands, try putting them both together. So here's what we're going to do. I'm, well, I'm, yeah. Okay, so once you've practiced both hands and you feel that you're proficient, try putting them both together. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. I will admit, the timing for this at first, especially if you're a beginner or don't play much piano, is semi-difficult. But there are keys to getting it down. So I'm going to play through it really slowly with both hands and see if you can catch the keys in it before I explain them. So, but I will explain it at the end. So, here we go. Alright, so there were two things in there, and there's one of them that I hope that you at least caught on to, and that is the pauses in between each chord and note. So when you play that E on the low end, and you go to that B and E chord, and then you go da da da, and switching, there's a pause between that, so it's... So that's the thing, you're gonna play your note, you're gonna play these notes on those little phrases before you go into playing the chords. And also at the very end, I hope that you also somewhat caught this. It adds a nice little bounce to the song too. Like you notice when I did that on the left hand, after I play that um A chord with the C sharp, you're gonna bounce them E flat to E and then go back and play through the whole thing. So yeah. So once you've practiced through it a few times and have gotten it up to speed, it should sound something like this. Um, I hope that this lesson was helpful to you and remember to go through and practice a few times and go back to any portions of the video that you were stuck on before going on. So if you have any questions, feel free to send me a private message and I'll see what I can do for you. So, um, peace out.